hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button go ahead and like comment and share my videos y'all all right y'all so with today's video i'm gonna show y'all how i got these fox locks um in this video i used a total of four packs of passion twists instead of the spring twist and i used i want to say Oh, no, 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 no. I used four packs of the locks. And I used three and a half packs of the passion twists to get this look. Um, I'll insert clips of the kind that I used. It'll be over here. And then I'll also insert the items that you need to accomplish this look. This took me about, I want to say about five hours. I did take a break. I do have a summer, so I wasn't consistently doing it, so that's why it took me longer. But I swear it does not feel like it's me six hours. Yeah. So here is a close of my parting. It's not perfect parting. I didn't want it to be super perfect parting, but I did want it to come out a little decent. Right now, my scalp is so sore, y'all, and these are so tight. They'll loosen up over a couple of days. But as you can see, they are, oh, I use 18 inch locks. So, they are going to be about this one here. To the front, and I'll come to the back. Oh, that just hurt it, y'all. Y'all put it in. The longest ones kind of fall about here. And I think that's because this one I did a little looser because that was the first one I did. Because like I said, I'm trying these out for the first time. I've never had these before. I've never done these with anyone. I've never even done these on myself. So this was my first time attempting this. And I think I did pretty good, y'all. So I would say this is definitely a thumbs up. It is definitely beginner friendly hairstyle if you have the time and the patience for it. Um, I am going to add some little jewels to it. And I'm probably going to give you guys a makeup look. But for now, this is what we're looking like. So... Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So I did the back off camera because it's kind of harder to do the back and record. But here I am just separating the front of my hair into two sections. So that way I can plait up the front and then I want them to be similar on each side. So I'm going to start off by sectioning my boxes in the front first because the front is always the easiest and then I can always line up my boxes in the back based off the ones in the front. So as you can see here, I am just perfecting my lines. Now that you can see that I did those, I have plaited that whole side and I literally just sectioned them off as even as possible. So I did the first two rows, it's just two, I mean the first row is just two, and then each row behind that is three boxes, which gave me 10 on each side of the front section. All right, so as you can see here, I am just parting my hair into the three sections. Now, I did not part my hair straight across and even. I actually stacked them, if that makes any sense. So here you can see I'm just using my edge control to more define my parts. And I didn't end up using jam because the jam actually made my hair curl up. So now I'm just doing those individual plaits because I want that whole section to be plaited before I start entering in those locks. I ended up with 10 on each side of the front.
all right so here's just a closer look of me sectioning off the hair and making them even and then it'll show you a close-up of me braiding those plaits All right, so now I can show you better of what I do. So here I'm taking my hook and I'm just gonna place that right through the base of my braid and leave the flap open. So then I'm gonna go ahead and take my actual lock and I'm going to open up the whole part of that. As you can see, I'm trying to open it up. They do come tight. I'm just gonna open it up enough where I can slide that hook onto that hole and I'm gonna close the flap down. Now I'm gonna pull the whole lock in between the base of my braid, and I'm gonna take the hook off, put my finger inside the hole, because I'm gonna take that hole and I'm gonna make a knot. I'm gonna basically put the lock inside of the loop of the lock, and I'm just gonna pull it tight, where now it gives me two braids, or two sections, pretty much. One is my braid and one is the lock. Now I'm gonna take the passion twist and I'm going to untwist it. Now with untwisting it, make sure you take your time. I have been doing it for so long I kind of got the hang of it, but if you are not used to doing it, it can tangle up on you. So here I'm just basically stretching the hair to kind of loosen up that curl pattern because I want the hair to be as flat as possible when I start to wrap. So now that I've got it flat as possible, I'm gonna make it where it's uneven. The shorter piece of the hair, I'm gonna add to the lock and to my braid. Now I'm just gonna wrap around the base a few times before I start wrapping down. Now the wrapping process is pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. But I'll go ahead and zoom in so that way you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. And I'll try to slow it down for you guys a little bit coming up. Um, but literally, I'm just flattening out the hair as I twist. That way, it's not giving me that twisted hair look. Like if you were, you know, twisting your hair. More so, it's flat like we're wrapping the hair around it to make the lock. Now, with, you want to make sure that you're placing the hair kind of on top of the previous wrap, but not all the way, just enough to cover it because you want you don't want any gaps. Now, I in my twist, I did notice sometimes I was going too fast and I did kind of make some gaps. And you'll see like previously that I like pushed the hair up a little bit to kind of close those gaps off. But you just take your time until you get the hang of it. And like I said, you just want to overlap it just a little bit with the previous wrap. That way it gives you that flawless look. Now, once you get down to the bottom, you're going to actually start wrapping back upward towards the hair shaft just so you can overlap it. And then you're going to rub your hands together with the braid in the middle to kind of seal it in. A lot of people use um, got to be spray on that part or they'll use nail glue. I didn't have either on hand, so I just did this and I'll seal them later off camera.
right so here is a rare case sometimes when you wrap you kind of over wrap and you don't have enough hair for that section so you'll just take a new piece of hair from one of the other pre wrap passion twists and you just cut a piece off and you're going to take that piece and you're going to do the same thing so you're going to basically put the shorter end on the braid the fox locks and the loose hair and you're just going to wrap in the opposite direction of the way you were wrapping before. You're just going to cover it up. Now, when you get to the end of that, you're just going to, like I said, wrap back upward to lock it into place. And then you're going to just smooth it out with your hands.
Alright guys, so this is how the look turned out. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms so you can stay informed. And I will see y'all next time.